Good morning guys so we are on lesson 11 and that is multiplying and this is going to look at more of the different ways to multiply than actually just multiplying so the first one we have to decide that the expression can be used to solve 4207 times 3. now i want you to think about the property that we use distributive and if you remember this is when i would hand out the starburst because we have to share with everyone okay so it gives us four different ways and we're gonna see if they will work or not so if can I say 4,000 times 3 plus 200 times 3 plus 7 times 3 yes because that is um, that is in its expanded form all right looking at the next one and that is completely distributed out. I have 4,000 times three plus 20 times three plus seven times three. Will this work? No, because of that 20, um, it is in the wrong, um, it's the wrong place value. All right, now uh, we're just doing it by expanded form, multiplying it by three, we're not distributing it out. 4,000 plus 20 plus 7 eight times 3. That will not work again because of the 20. So we're looking at 4,000 uh, plus 200 plus 7 times 3. And this one will work because, again, it is in expanded form. And we will just distribute out that 3. All right, Mr. Porter bought five packages of stickers to use in his classroom. There are 175 stickers in each package. Which models below could represent the total number of stickers? Circle all the correct answers. Let's look at each one. A is five times one plus five times seven plus five times five. No, this will not work. I mean, we can distribute it, but it, you've got to distribute the right amount. Can we say, can we jump 35 each time, 35 five times to have 175 stickers in each package? No, that one just doesn't work because you, 35 is not part of our equation. Let's look at C. We have 5 times 100 plus 5 times 70 plus 5 times 5. Y'all, I completely skipped C. I am so, so sorry. Yes, C will work um, as well and D. C and D work. Um, that is my fault. Um... And so when I say that E works in just a second, so C, D, and E. There are three different ones that work here. Y'all know me too well to know that I can't go one video without making some small mistake, but that's okay because we are all human and I'll do it. So C, D, and E work. F will not work because we're not saying 75 times 100 plus 5. We're saying... 175 or 105 so we're saying 175 times 5 that one will not work c d and e will work all right let's look at the last two we have each student in miss convoy conroy's class has a box of 48 markers there are 23 students in the class lisa and Eva, write the expressions below to find how many markers there are in all. Fill in the blanks to correctly complete the expression. So we're going to look at Lisa. Lisa said 48 times 3 and 48 times... If we're expanding, or if we're expanding that out, we would say 20 plus 3, so 48 times 20. Sorry, I think my brother came in and said something to me. All right, 
then we look at Eva. And look at the way that she broke it down. She said three times eight plus blank times 40 plus blank times eight plus 20 times blank. All right, so she expanded it all the way out. So we have three times eight and three times 40 plus um, 20 times eight and 20 times 40. All right, so the last one, I wanted to completely work this one out with you. It says, Cassandra finds 3,412 times seven using partial products, as shown below. She starts by multiplying the digit in the ones place of 3,412 by the number seven. So when we do partial products, we don't carry. We just write down the number. So if I have seven times two, it's 14. Seven times one, Oh, well, it's not one because that's actually 10. Seven times 10 is 70 because you have to remember place values. Seven times 400 is 2,800. And seven times 3,000 is 21,000. So when we add that up, we have 4, 8, 8, 3, 2, 23,884. Cassandra wondered if the product would change if she starts by multiplying seven by the digit in the thousands place instead of, uh, of 3,412, then by the digit in the hundreds place, then in the tens place, and then in the ones place. It says, which statement explains whether Cassandra's product would change if she multiplies in the reverse order? Okay, the product is going to be the same if she does it in the reverse order. A, don't do it in the reverse order. That's wrong. You know better, don't do it like that. But the product would be the same because the place value doesn't change. Um, I mean, place value absolutely matters, but it doesn't change. So, and we know that we can add any numbers in any order. So, um, B would be the correct answer. The product would be the same because the sum of the partial products can be added in any order. Okay, guys. So I hope that you are enjoying these quick, short review lessons, and tomorrow we're going to look at divisions before we go into fractions, and we will finish up our year in fractions. I miss you guys.